odds ratio is an effect size that is estimated when the outcome is binary binary outcome is a variable that have two levels in it binomial or dichotomous uh, two levels such as uh, agree disagree yes or no uh, smoke doesn't smoke meta-analysis is a statistical method that is used to uh, combine data extracted from several independent uh, clinical or research studies that addresses the same scientific or clinical question. The objective uh, from performing meta-analysis is to calculate the overall uh, pooled estimate of the effect size from separate independent uh, uh, clinical or research studies. Uh, forest plot is generated from the meta-analysis forest plot is a diagram that summarizes the output or the outcome from the meta-analysis or the outcome of statistics from the meta-analysis the forest plot consists of three sections a descriptive section which includes the description for each study um, and the calculated um, estimate effect size the 95% confidence interval, the p-value, and the weight percentage. A second section, which is a diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics, and a third part, which shows the overall estimate effect size from those pooled uh, studies with the heterogeneity test and i squared value to examine and test degree of variability uh, among the uh, result from those several separate uh, research studies if you find this video useful do subscribe and uh, uh, click on the notification uh, bell to receive and uh, get latest release of videos to the channel and uh, uh, click on the like and uh, click on the share to share the video uh, to others so the channel will grow and develop further to include a wider and a larger uh, scope of uh, different statistical method that can be done in SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, uh, GMP, and Revman. So what is odds? Odds measure the likelihoods of a particular outcome. It is the ratio of the probability that the event will happen to the probability the event will not occur. So it is calculated as the probability of the event occurring divided by the probability of the event not occurring, which is one p probability of event occurring is given a p, p simple and not occurring is one, one minus p or a letter q. What is odds ratio odds ratio calculated as the ratio of the odds of the outcome in the exposed group compared to the odds of the outcome in the unexposed group so it does measure so odds ratio is a effect size an estimate of the effect size that measures the level of association between exposure and outcome so here you have two variable a variable for exposure and an outcome and the association between those two variable are uh, or is calculated so the odds of the outcome being associated with the exp exposure compared to the odds of the outcome being unrelated to the exposure 
So the odds ratio is calculated as shown here, OR equal to the odds in the exposed or experimental or intervention divided by the odds in the unexposed, the control, the reference category or group. So the OR is different from odds. Odds is the probability of an event occurring uh, relative to uh, not uh, to the probability of not occurring. And the OR is the odds in the exposed uh, relative to the odds in the unexposed. So here I had inserted an example to clarify the concept of the odds ratio. Here, uh, two groups has been assigned, treated, and controlled, and the drug efficacy was um, counted and measured, and the success of the recovery was recorded uh, as here 45 for the treatment group, and those that did not recover using the treatment were also recorded and the total number of participants in the treated group is given here for a control there was no drug or treatment um, uh, introduced and 10 individuals had recovered from the disease or the condition and uh, 55 failed to recover a yeah, total uh, number of participants were 65. So here for the treated group, the event happening is 45 and the event not happening is 15. And the same for the control. Event occurring is 10. Events not occurring is 55. So the odds for the treated is 45 divided by 15 and for the control is 10 divided by 55. To calculate the odds ratio, then divide the odds for the treated or the exposed to the odds for the unexposed or the contr control as shown here. 45 divided by 15 and then that's divided by 10 over 55. This gives us the value of 16.6. So the odds ratio um, for this treatment is equal to 16.6. So what does this value uh, indicate? This value indicates that there are uh, 16 times higher uh, odds of individual who are treated with the drug to recover from the condition compared to a control group. So when the odds ratio is greater than one, this suggests a positive association. When the odds ratio is less than one, this suggests a negative association and when the odds ratio of one indicates no association. The odds ratio is often used in a case control studies and is suitable when the outcome is rare. Here I had inserted a data for 12 studies uh, to perform meta-analysis and each study had uh, recruited a participant who have been assigned to either treatment group or a reference group and the number of events occurring if in the treatment is recorded and in the reference is also recorded and the number of uh, event not occurring is recorded for treatment and for reference. So here we have a binary outcome which has only two levels in it either the event occurring or not occurring then the effect size estimate will be the odds ratio the following uh, graph shows the meta-analysis for the previous data and as uh, had explained already the forest plot consists of three sections descriptive statistics diagrammatic representation and an overall estimate of the effect size with heterogeneity test. The plot shows that there are 12 studies. 
the uh, odds ratio, log odds ratio for each individual study is calculated and the standard error is also produced a 95% confidence interval with a lower and upper limit is given and a p-value is generated and a weight percentage which reflects the uh, contribution or the influence and the contribution of the uh, sample size on the overall uh, meta-analysis. This plot was generated in SPSS. The second section here is just representation of this section here. These square, blue square symbols represent the effect size, which is the odds ratio for each individual study. The horizontal line is the 95% confidence interval and the sizes of these squares value varies uh, uh, depending on the weight percentage or the sample size. Larger sample size have larger square. The red dashed line represent the uh, line for the value which is the overall estimated effect size or the overall odds ratio. The diamond shape structure here is the overall odds ratio for the 12 studies and as shown here the overall uh, uh, odds ratio is 2.79 and a 95% confidence interval is also produced and the horizontal line is the 95% confidence interval. The third section here shows the overall with the heterogeneity test which examine the degree of variability among the results from those 12 studies with an I squared generated which is 12% uh, which is a low level of heterogeneity with a p-value greater than 0.05. So thus the odds ratio uh, is used as an estimate of the effect size in performing meta-analysis for a data that are binary. If you have a data and you are looking for a training session or courses on how to perform statistical analysis on a data uh, using one of the softwares with their SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, and GMP, then uh, contact me and I will arrange for one-to-one -one private sessions.